Missy here. Welcome back to Code to Create. Have you ever wondered how can other people's game look so much better than ours? They have everything look so just together with perfect ambience. Well, this is not that hard to achieve even if you don't have a professional designer working with you. Yes, of course, have special baked shadows or special bump map or really good texture, very perfect modeling will improve your game dramatically. But without those people helping us, we can still improve the appearance of our games dramatically just with some building tools in Unity. I will show you how. Let's get it started. I'm taking you to this Unity download page because I just want to show you that there are a lot of things built in from Unity we actually have not used or commonly not been included in our Unity applications. And Unity actually made so many standard assets. I think a lot of times we check them out when the first time we start learning about Unity. But as time goes by, we often forgot that there are so many useful resources already being built by Unity. So since I'm still stuck with the older version of Unity, I'm going to go to Unity 2017.3.0. So please download the version that works with your Unity because there's some changes in like function calls or the structures of the engine then you don't have to go through upgrade or anything. You can just use your assets right away. So since I'm using Mac, but I guess it's the same, you know, for standard assets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download the example projects. From here, we can just use the example projects as a good like foundation for me to explain to you the functionality and the features of all these standard like tools that Unity already have. Now let's open the example project from Unity. So on the Mac, it is, it's in the folder of the computer, users, shared, Unity, and standard as an example project. On the PC, however, it is in C, Users, Public Documents, Unity Projects, and Standard Assets. Thanks for the Unity form so we know where it is. So here we go to open that project. Here, I can open the sample scene folder. Let's go to the scene. Let's pick something. Pick the car. I hit play, see what this game is about. So I think you pretty much have like a racing game. Pretty fun. Okay, so let's use this scene as an example. You know, this whole game still looks pretty plain, right? We haven't textured the car, the sky is really cubish. But how do we make something look better? based on what we have. I think that's usually our first prototype. That's what it's gonna be. Then we need to look in for the special image effects, which now is called post-processing for Unity. And it is free. We can go to the Unity Asset Store by click window and Asset Store. And just by typing post-processing stack, you will find this package. It is free and we just click download and import. So here it has all the assets. Also, all the code are open sourced on GitHub. If you're interested in modifying it, you can totally just go to GitHub, the Unity's GitHub repository, you can find the post-processing scripts there. Let's go back to our game. Add a post-processing behavior. Once you find a profile, let's click the custom profile. And here it has all these special effects. It has motion blur selected. 
Let's see how that looks. Whoa, I definitely see some blurry stuff going on. Let's see what that is. You could choose different things. Let's find something else. Depth more field. I wonder what that looks like. Let's see if I can just turn it off. In the debug, let's just choose none. So we are not going to see all the lines. I think this is 1.62, it's a good number. So you see immediately our game looks much more futuristic. Just by click depth of field, you can even see the game gets like so much more polished. Just even with very basic assets, I think I'm like stuck here. But it's fine, let's just keep going. Motion blur, let's see how, that's turn off, that's depth of field. This way we can see things better. It seems I'm like stuck here. I don't know if I can like get over with it. Or I can just move my car because we are the game developer, right? So let's go find my car. Press F. I'm gonna move my car bit away. <laughs> I love cheating my own game. Okay. Let's keep going. Yeah. Let's try motion blur. Where is my profile? Okay, let's click on the profile. Motion blur. Frame blending. Let's see how that goes. Do you see much? Oh yeah, do you see it? Do you see the car? It has a bit like framing slow motion going on. Oh, no, let me increase it to like crazier. Frame blending. Whoa, I feel like this is cool. I don't know if you can tell the difference. Let me put it to a hundred. makes your game look so much better just by clicking on it you can just make your game look really dreamy right like you know the feel like everything's warm and cozy and of course we like filters just like Instagram filters and like vignette it makes your frame look so much more beautiful you just say oh it's like a crappy prototype. Also, anti-aliasing. I think that's great. It just makes everything smooth. It's not super obvious when you like looking very close. Let's find a better example. Let's drive to those pipes. To those pipes. This is a very great example. If you're looking at things from certain angles, you can see, right? It's disabled anti-aliasing. You can see the flickering edges. Once you have anti-aliasing, everything just becomes so much smoother on the border of those pipes. So here is some of my quick tips to improve the look of your game with very small amount of effort and use the building tools. Thanks for watching. If you like this kind of content, please give me thumbs up so I know this is kind of content you guys love to see. And if you're interested in what I'm working on every day, you actually can follow me on my Instagram, which is called Mei Si Kuang. And you can follow me on Twitter as well, it's at Mei Si Kuang as well. If you finish the project, please do my tutorials. You can add me, tag me, I would love to see the finished product. And see you next video. Bye for now.